the final message the book of revelation chapter 22 verse 10 and he said unto me seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book for the time is at hand he that is unjust let him be unjust still and which is filthy and he which is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is righteous let him be righteous still and he that is holy let him be holy still and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be brakata yahawa brakata yahawa shai brakata yahawa brakata yahawa shai all praises honor glory to the power of abraham isaac and jacob yahawa our heavenly father and his only begotten son our king our redeemer our savior yahawa shai let's give double honors to our head apostles the elders the bishop from the great millstone that told us this truth salutation peace to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth and to my brothers and sisters the large multitude you so-called negroes latinos african still native american native native indians whatever name the oppressor place on us we are the hebrew israelite again all praises honor glory to the power of abraham isaac and jacob yahweh bashem yahusha this good news is for you you so-called negroes latinos african americans native americans native indian we have to continue to be that drum home salvation is not for any other nation the rest of the nation their role is to serve the children of israel in the kingdom the moment esau edom the last leg of the roman empire and it is falling right in front of your eyes you see they are so desperate right now family they say sometimes when you throw in a life jacket to someone who is drowning and they started to panic that's why you got to be very careful if you're not careful they're going to drag you in there too you see that's Esau Edom that's why he is drowning right now they have no answers at one point that's right the lord was with them and the lord gave them the power to conquer because prophecy have to be fulfilled and now their time has come the lord says i should go to the book of job 14 let's go there quickly the book of job 14 job 14 uh job 14 verse uh verse 5 i believe it says seeing you see seeing his days are determined the number of his months are with thee thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass it the lord set a bound for esau edom to rule the self-proclaimed white man that's right the last leg of the roman empire rome 2.0 this is it the little season mentioned in the book of revelation 23 this is the little season okay the lord brought them back in the renaissance okay which was what the 14 to 1500s they call it the rebirth that's right started started with the spanish followed by the french and then the french and then the uh, what is it called the british out of the british came america that's why America, it is the last, last, last leg. Esau Edom, the one that you are looking at right now, pale skin, blue eye, blonde hair, whatever. This is it for from here. They are going, all of them are going into captivity. Germany and the healthcare system should prepare for war. Why is that? Let's find out why, family. Because why Germany confirmed leak audio of its top generals discussing blowing up the Crimea bridge, which connects Russia to Crimea. That's why right. the audio is authentic, and that's the red line for Russia. So could it be that they know that something is brewing? But family, we are just going to report to let you know. The Lord, we are the watchmen of Israel, and we're going to bring it out and glorify our Lord. He said we should watch and pray, and we are watching and pray 24 hours. That's right. And then here, it says here, what, family, you see, it shows you the desperation. Ukraine is a major defeat for the West, who has been dominating the planet Earth. 
On Friday, French PM Emmanuel Macron stood by his earlier comment that NATO troops may be deployed to Ukraine, saying he wanted to maintain a strategic ambiguity on the situation. Meanwhile, other European leaders issued emphatic statement ruling out the possibility because they are desperate. The Lord said the time will come, family. That's why the division that the Lord is creating right now, you are seeing it. NATO, it is divided. The now North Atlantic Treaty Organization, known as NATO, it is divided. Hmm? But this is the Lord movie. That's why we give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's read a bit here, family. This is just going to be a quick hit. And then, oh yeah, I have a video. What's here? Uh, Lord willing, Canadian prepper. Also, uh, I think this was uh, uh, two hours ago. I let Europe at DEFCON to German prepares hospital for mass casualties. Troops deploy in Ukraine. Family, this thing is like music to our ears. Because we know that what? Well, Family, our king will not prolong. It's all about Yahweh Shai. It's all about the king. That's what we're waiting for. It's all about the king. It's all about the preparing the way for our king, Yahweh Shai. It says here, Berlin must be ready for major disasters. He said, major disasters. Eh? Karl Lottenbach has said, mm? German health minister, eh? Germany seeks to improve it <coughs> my goodness man i didn't even start all the evening it's been all right and all of a sudden satan if i'm not gonna take my time eh? i gotta take my time it said germany seeks to improve its healthcare system to be able to swiftly respond to crisis situation such as new pandemic or military conflict the country's health minister has said that's right, military conflict, family. Forget the P-A-N-D-M-I-C. I already said it. YouTube, I already said the word. But anyways, it's a military conflict. That's right. All stemming from what? The red line. It is authentic. Every media organization is saying that, yes, they are planning to blow up the Crimea bridge. How did Russia obtain that audio? Family, we're going to get right into it. It says here, Carl uh, Lothenbach believes the reform will become a turning point for the healthcare system with a bill expected to be presented in the summer. The Social Democratic Party politician told the family, I cannot pronounce that word, please forgive me. In an interview published on Saturday, the ruling tra traffic light coalition already pushed for some improvement in the wake of the COVID-19 PANDEMIC. But the health minister said that with the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, eh, which Germany is actively participating, eh, that's right, in Ukraine, this challenge has become even more important. In the event of crisis, every doctor Every hospital, every healthcare authority must know that. So must know what to do. We need clear responsibilities. For example, for the distribution of high number of injured people among the clinics in Germany, Lutterbach explained. The minister said hospital must also conduct drills to practice their response to disasters, dismissing accusations of scaremongering by arguing that doing nothing is not an option. That's why they know family third world war is coming. Hmm? Revelation chapter 11 verse 14 says what? Behold, the second war is past. The second war was what? The second world war, which was 1939 to 1945, which these people don't learn, which Russia defeated uh, 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 Nazis, defeated what? Hitler and its minions. That's right. Russia. Russia is untouchable. That is why the Lord raised what, the meat to, uh, to fulfill his mission. This is the Lord's movie, family. Sit back and enjoy the show. Eh? Enjoy the show. We are extremely excited that our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our heavenly father, and our king, Yahweh Shah, is in control of everything, family. Our, our salvation 
draw us nigh. That is why we are excited. This war can start fast enough for us, family. It cannot start fast enough for us. It says here, this is coming from Zero Hedge. Germany confirms leak audio of its top generals discussing blowing up the Crimean bridge. Hmm. This is just great, actually. Let's. It says here, in a huge development, hmm, an absolute smoking gun revelation, the government of Germany has confirmed the authenticity of a leaked audio recording file published by Russian state-backed RT. The leak was first published by RT editor-chief Margarita Somyanyan, who described that she received it from Russian security officials. So clearly, Russia got eyes everywhere. Family, this is good. This is good. It first appeared under the headline, Alleged Audio of German Officers Discussing Crimean Bridge Attack Leak, as it featured top-ranking German military official in a private discussion of a potential German operation to bomb the Crimean Bridge in Russia. So is it? Is it possible that is why they are telling their citizens to prepare eh, for a natural for for, for disaster? Eh? Eh? Family, I will leave that to you. Eh? But we just thank the Lord that is all coming to an end. Desperation, family, as it was initially described by RT, Russian media is now openly admitting that the call was in fact intercepted by Russia. Eh? Moscow is now saying this shows direct German involvement in the war. Hey, the Russians, eh? The water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rukakudat. Family, let's go to the book of, uh, let me see here if I can bring it out. Oh, the water, the water. You can say the Lord don't love us, eh? The Lord loves us, eh? Hmm. The Lord loves us. The Lord loves us. Just pouring his love upon us in these last days. Eh, showing us, he says, I got you guys, man. I got my elect. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. You know, please bear with me. Let's go to the book of uh, Second Ezra. Ooh, what was that? Second Ezra. Let's go to 16. Second Ezra 16. Let's pick it up from, I think, verse... Uh, I think 36. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 36. It says, Behold, eh? Behold, eh? The word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spoke. Eh? And then it says here, Behold, the plagues draweth nigh and are not slack. Eh? Actually, no, I don't. let's go to the previous verse. That's right. Hear now these things. Eh? This is the most important. It says here, Second Ezra 16, 35. say, hear now these things and understand them. Ye, servants of the Lord. That's right, servants of the Lord. The Lord said, believe this word. Eh? Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spoke. Eh? It says, what? Well, behold, the plagues draweth nigh. The famine. That's right. Second World War. The Civil War. It's all coming together, family. Eh? And the Lord says why? He said, Behold, the place draw nigh and Adwa are not slack. They're not gonna be delayed. No, 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 no. It's just gonna be one upon the other, one after the other. It's all gonna come together. Yes, microchip is coming. Oh yeah, yeah, family, we're waiting for that. It says, as when a woman with a child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains compass her womb. Isn't that the truth? She's been carrying this baby for nine months, ten months. She's tired. She can't get a comfortable spot to sleep. And she just wants this baby out. And now all of a sudden, the baby is about to come out. Eh? That's right. Labor pain, family. It is coming. The baby is coming. That's how the Lord is describing the plagues that he's bringing upon this earth. It's not going to slack. And he says, as when a woman with a child in the ninth month bringing forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains 
compass a womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. He said that they slack not a moment. That's why chaos upon chaos upon chaos. That's what the scripture says here. Even so shall not the place be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. You hear that sorrows. Because once those missiles start flying down into continental ballistic missiles, that's why the casualties, remember what the Lord says, he's going to lay, family, the Lord is coming to kill, delete a lot of people. That's what is coming. These nuclear missiles, oh yes, family is going to take people out. That's the time that we are living in. It says here, let's go here. The audio could have easily been dismissed in the West as simple Russian source propaganda or even an AI fake. However, in an unexpected development, the highest levels of the German government have now confirmed that the audio is indeed real and Berlin launched an investigation into the serious breach of secured communications. What is being reported is a very serious matter, and that is why it is now being investigated by carefully, by intensively and very quickly, German Chancellor Ola Schoff said in Rome. German's military has also confirmed the leak recording, but officials have avoided weighing in in the actual content of what was said eh, pending an internal investigation. Guess what? Russia got it. And there's no there's no coincidence that the Lord, that's why, raised the Medes and eh, the king of the east eh, to finally take down Babylon, the great family. It is all desperation. Here, listen to this, because they've been ruling for many, many centuries now. And this article sums it best. It says here, Ukraine is a major defeat for the West. Because family, we know, if we've been following the news, eh, you know that, guess what, the West mainstream media will tell you, mainstream media, the legacy media will tell you that oh ukraine is winning oh russia is losing losing russia is losing but no family we know better the men of the law family we do our research through the spirit and power of our king our redeemer yahweh shy that's right you see the law said don't trust thine enemy so you have to go and dig don't believe what they are giving you on mainstream media no you see we know from the get-go they had no ch- chance because america is nothing but paper tiger that's why right. your America, your favorite America, the Lord is about to set it on fire. Babylon the Great. That's why right. America, oh yeah, Trump is not going to help America. Nobody's going to save America. Actually, let's say, cannot be healed. Eh? Can not be healed. Babylon cannot be healed. Is this Jeremiah that said it? Oh. Let me see. Ah. Uh. I said, uh, I think it's Jeremiah, please bear with me. Let me see if I, I think it's Jeremiah 49. Uh, take a bomb for her. I think it said, take a bomb for her. Let's do take a bomb for her. Take a, a bomb for her. That's right. Oh, Jeremiah 51. It says here, let's go back. Let's look at the whole chapter. Mm? That's it says here. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah 51. Eh? That says the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. A destroying wind. You know, a destroying wind family that is nuclear missiles. Eh? That's right. That's the nuclear missiles that they're gonna launch on America. It says here, and will send unto Babylon furnace that shall find her family every nation that america and the west have destroyed they are going to get the opportunity to shoot their missiles on america and it says here and shall empty her land for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about okay against him that bend it let the archer bend his bow and against him that lifted himself up in his brigadine 
and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host, her family, all her host, well, her military. And that's what is coming for America. It said, Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her street, as America famine. For Israel have not been forsaken, that's right, nor Judah of his power, of the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel, that's right, we are the apple of the Lord's eyes. We are his children. That's right, that's why he have us in captivity. That's right. That's why we are in Jamaica. We are in Barbados. We are in Ghana. We are in Nigeria. We are in Britain. We are in America. We are in Germany. We've been, we are everywhere under the sun because we are in our captivity. And that's what a father does. You see, these nations, they don't have a father. They are bastards. That's right. He said, whom a father loves, he chastens. That's why the Lord, whatever we go off, family, he punishes us. Hey? That's right. He corrects us measurely. I mean, he doesn't bring all the wrath upon us. No, he, he chastens us. So yes, now he's saying that, yeah, he didn't forget us. We know he didn't forget us. Because family, we are in the, in the land of our captivity. And we remember ourselves through the spirit and power of our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Eh? It says here, flee. Eh? It says flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul, family, whatever they are doing, don't get caught into it. The Lord is not telling you to buy a ticket and fly away and go to, uh, 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 what is it called? The Amazon and go and hide yourself. No, 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 no. Her ways, her ways will destroy you. Because the, this earth here was given to his hand. He's supposed to push wickedness. That's right. That's what he's doing. So the Lord said, don't be partakers. Don't join in. Okay, flee out of the mess. Eh? We says, well, we use this word, but well, we use this word, but not abusing it. Okay? Right? Flee, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in what? In her iniquity, her sins. The Lord said, Don't be participating. Don't go out there and hold hand in hand saying that, oh, free Palestine, free, free Palestine. No, family. No, the Lord, listen, read the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse, uh, and, and, and uh, chapter 16. We want, family, we want chaos. We don't want no peace. This world will never see peace until the king. Our king is sitting on the throne. So if anything, you're praying, you're praying that the Lord will bring disaster and chaos upon this earth. All right? You see, it's a flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. Has sinned, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. Are you listening to this, beloved? This is for what? The hopeful elect. Don't be caught, because this is the Lord's vengeance. Hey? No hand in hand. Hey? The wicked shall not be what? acquitted or something to that effect. The wicked will not be punished or something to the effect. I'm just roughly paraphrasing. Find that no, I just butchered that. I will get it. I will get it. I will get it. It says here. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai's vengeance. He will render unto her recompense. Yes, it says here, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. You see, and look at what the Lord did. Eh? That made all the earth drunken. You see, everybody wanted to be like America. So that was the golden cup. And in true her philosophies, he have polluted all the kings of the earth. They drank the cup. They says, yes, America, we will support you. America, we love your ways. Yes, you know what though? Our traditional, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, our traditional way of, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, of life, we're going to cast it behind. We're going to be like American. That's why we're going to take your, your restaurant, we're going to import it into our country. That's why most of, most of the world, you have McDonald's and you have KFC. You have this, from you have Starbucks. That's why this is the worst. This is what they push. And this is what they push all over the world. And then their democracy in the form of what? That's why LGBTQ. And all the wickedness that they push. Family, this is their philosophy. This is their wine. And, but the law says here, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Now they're realizing that, my goodness, this whore that we thought was the finest whore, 
eh? because you know when it comes to a whole family like i said in many of them the lessons it doesn't matter whether you are fat eh? whether you are you are fit whether you are six foot tall whether you are five foot ten eh? discuss it as long as the money is right you're good to go if you can pay eh? to upkeep her family you are you are you are golden that's america as long as you are willing to do business and eh? then he doesn't care eh? to burn corners take bribes eh? america is in that's the worst that's what they've been doing all over the world they destabilize government like you have the cia his job is to what cause problems in your country overthrow your government and then what supply arms to the nation uh 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 the 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 uh uh, uh your your uh your factions and then what and then they'll be busy fighting each other meanwhile they are doing well america industrial complex that's why the military industrial complex in america family that's why they are their, their stocks continue to climb up since the start of this ukraine war go and look it up hey eh? Real uh, was a uh, what's America? Let's 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 do this. America military uh, company. Let's go. America. America. America military military companies. Hmm? Companies. Raytheon, Boeing. Okay, General Dynamics. <coughs> <coughs> Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Boeing family. We're talking about trillions of dollars. Eh? Trillions of dollars, fam. That's what they do. The CIA goes in, they stabilize your government. This these people here keep pushing what? Military equipment into your country. That's why they put a puppet government in place and off they go. And this is what they've been doing all over the world. But now the time has come where the law says what? Again, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. And here's the point. Babylon is suddenly falling. That's right. Babylon, America, the West, eh? And finally, suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Listen to this. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. That's right. The Lord is about to judge the land. But for the, if you are part of the elect, you don't have to go anywhere. <clears throat> if you are in the two thirds, you might want to think about it. Eh? <coughs> but the elect family, Yahweh Shah, his name is the deliverer. He's coming to deliver the elect. You don't have to fly anywhere. But listen to this. Ukraine is a major defeat for the West who has been dominating the planet Earth. That's right. That's what they've been doing. That's why nobody was able to fight them. That's why they can calmly wake up one day and say, okay, we got, we have our coalition. Eh? Let's go to Iraq. Let's destroy Iraq. Let's go to Afghanistan. Let's destroy Afghanistan. Eh? Iran, Syria, uh, Vietnam, uh, Korea. That's what they've been doing all over the world. Because Bible prophecy have to be fulfilled. But now the time has come. The Lord said he set a bound. And now from they can pass that bound. And from here, they're all going into captivity, slavery. On Friday, French Emmanuel Macron, I read that already, I think. Let's read it. It says, on Friday, French President PM Emmanuel Macron stood by his earlier comment that NATO troops may be deployed to Ukraine, saying he wanted to maintain a strategic ambiguity on the situation. Meanwhile, other European leaders issued emphatic statement ruling out the possibility. Mm -hmm. It says here, the conflict in Ukraine represents a major defeat for powers who have gotten used to dominating planet Earth for hundreds of years. That's right. That's right. And now, family, if they can rule, they're going to burn the whole house down. And that's what we are looking at. That's why Germany is telling their citizens, telling their hospitals that prepare for war. They can family they want to carve out russia they want to divide russia among each other and putin said oh hell no that's not going to happen so guess what they're going to settle it through third world war nuclear war that is what is coming it says here 
The conflict in Ukraine represents a major defeat for powers who have gotten used to dominating planet Earth for hundreds of years and are going to have to get accustomed to a better new reality. Dr. Gerald Horn, a professor of history at the University of Houston, told Sputnik the critical hour on Friday. Family, this is like music to my ear. Eh? Here, let's pick up this paragraph here. Russian President Vladimir Putin in turn warned against the escalations saying that it could lead to nuclear war. Everything that they are thinking up now, eh, that they are scaring the world with, it will really pose poses the threat of a conflict involving nuclear weapons and therefore the destruction of civilization. Don't they understand this? Putin asked during his annual State of the Nation speech because the Lord says indeed the next war is going to be nuclear. The Lord says go to Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5. It says here because family here let's al allow the Bible to speak. This is the Lord's movie. Family. It says for every battle of the warrior mm -hmm. is with confused noise and garments roll in blood. And let's find out how the ancient battles were fought. How was the Asian Asian battles were fought? Yeah, family. It says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments roll in blood. That's how the ancient battles were fought. Okay. We have here, ancient weapons include the spear, the at, uh, the at, at, atlati with light javelin or similar projector, the bow and the arrow, the sling, polyarms such as the spear, forks and javelin, hand-to-hand -hand weapons such as swords, spears, clubs, maces, axe, and knives. And eh? let's look at images. Yes, yeah, so family, garments roll in blood. That's how these are the how that's how it was fought. And eh? you see the images? This is what the Lord is saying. But let's find out this the second this third world war. How is it gonna be how is it gonna be uh it's gonna how it's gonna be carried out? And eh? my words are not coming to me, family. I don't know, feel like I'm so I'm tired. I, anyways, let's continue. I'm just stumbling all over my word, but anyhow, it says for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. That is how the intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBM, that's how it's going to go from one continent to the other. It's going to be what? Burning with fuel of fire. Eh? This is how the Asian war was fought. This time, no. This war here that is coming, the Third World War, is going to be different. It's going to be missiles flying from one continent to the other. Mm? That's what is coming. So, beloved, let's go to this video quickly. We're going to allow our friend Canadian Prepper here to update us on to uh, what, is, what is coming from Poland. I watched this earlier, but uh, let's watch a few minutes of it. All right, just a quick update here. Um, again, fair use out, fair use out, fair use out. I'm not making any money off this video. I don't own this video. This video is a property of the Canadian prepper. Fair use out, fair use out, fair use out. This again is uh, the property of Canadian prepper. All right, let's go. All right, All right, this, this is, is your World, World War III update. update. I've, I've just received, received some, some critical information from a source inside, inside Poland that suggests that that, that country has now reached its penultimate stage of combat readiness, something akin to DEF CON 2, meaning that the prospect for conventional or unconventional, i.e. nuclear crisis, is extremely high at this point in time. I'm going to go over all the details of how this is going to manifest in terms of how, how the military, the military is, going is going to be conducting, conducting itself, itself there, there from this, this point, point forward. forward. As, As well, we have, we have to talk about some very suspicious NATO exercises in that country, country that suggest they indeed are preparing for a large-scale large conflict, conflict with, with the Russians. Russians. 
Now, before we talk about all the details, uh, just to bring you guys up to speed with respect to what has happened this week. On Monday, Macron, Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, announced at the Paris conference, <coughs> excuse me, that they were considering putting troops on the ground in Ukraine. A couple of days later, that was confirmed when Macron indeed said that they will be putting special forces into the country to engage in demining operations in a non-combatant role and to perform peacekeeping duties and blah, 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 and maybe help out with the administration of weapon systems. Of course, that's the primary role here. Now, now, I implore people to understand, understand one thing about this war that is being waged, because it's very easy to presume that what you are seeing in the media, that that is the high point of information that both sides have. There's two wars going on right now, okay? There's a spy war, there's a clandestine war between nation states to intercept information, information, it's a surveillance, it's a reconnaissance, it's a spy war. war. The James, James Bond, Bond thing is a real thing. thing. It happens, happens behind, behind the scenes. scenes. Why? Because, because it's, it's the most, most important force multiplier. Uh, a, a little, little string, string of code, code a single, single sentence of information can determine, determine the course of an entire conflict. conflict. This, this was, was evident in World, World War II. II. When the, the Japanese, Japanese lost a crucial naval battle that essentially led to their demise. But, but information is the most potent thing. thing. So, so the Russians, Russians are listening to our generals talk, and our generals are like, listening, listening to the Russian generals talk. talk. And, and what, what we see on the surface, the information, the information that is promulgated on mainstream, mainstream news, <coughs> that is just <coughs> the fluff. That, that is just scratching the surface. The surface. A, lot A lot of that, that stuff is either put, put there to telegraph to the other side, because you see... Neither, Neither side, side is, is going to want to compromise its sources. sources. So, so if the, the Russians, Russians have information, information, if they're, they're listening, listening in to what, what we're planning on doing, they're, they're not going to scream to the media, hey, this, this, is, this, is, this is this is what they're doing, doing. You know, you know, this, this is, is what they're, they're planning. planning. Unless, Unless it's strategic, strategic for them to do so. Why? Because then they give up their sources. And then we lock everything down, and then we change all the passwords, and we try to tighten up security a lot, which makes it harder for them, them to, to know, know from that, that point forward. forward. So, so if you have a mole, or, or if you are surveilling what the other side is saying, saying you, you want to keep that quiet. quiet. Now, now, look, look at, at the sequence, sequence of events, guys. guys. Macron, Macron comes, comes out, out on Monday, Monday and, he and he says, hey, we're, hey, we're going to be sending troops in. Three, Three days, days later, later, the Russians, Russians are leaking this call between German officers that are planning on deploying Taurus missiles Inside, inside Ukraine, Ukraine for this dedicated, dedicated purpose of targeting, targeting the Crimean Bridge. Bridge. The, the Russians, Russians leak that. that. The, the Germans, Germans haven't denied, denied it. it. They, they agree that, that it's a real call. call. Now, now, the question, the question is, is, is it something that the Germans wanted the Russians, Russians to intercept? intercept. Okay? Okay? Was, was this just a 4D ruse, knowing that there is this multi-billion dollar spy war happening behind the scenes that really does dictate where this war goes? Okay, We're not going to... You're not, not going to hear on the news, news <coughs> in, in advance, advance that a nuclear, nuclear war is imminent, but, but the back channels are going to know if it's imminent. imminent. The, the manifestations in the mainstream, mainstream in terms of what is publicly, publicly disseminated, is all just fluff. So you, so you have, have to look at the sequence, the timeline of events. I know what I'm saying is kind of confusing, but nothing is cut and dry. Okay. There's, there's, there's so, so many uh, multi-level sting, sting operations, operations that are, are currently ongoing, ongoing coup attempts, attempts backstabbing, backstabbing that are happening behind the scenes, scenes that to really try to understand what is truly happening in the intelligence world would probably take many, many, many hours, if not days, to try to fully unravel and explain. And, and I don't claim to have all the answers. answers. I just I know that we can infer that that's what's happening right now. All you can do in terms of making out what, what is, is about, about to happen, happen is, is look at the kinetic military, military reality that's, that's on the ground. ground. There's, There's a, a high-intensity high conflict currently being waged inside Ukraine. Ukraine. NATO, NATO is starting to prepare and send troops to the border, border regions of Russia, Russia 
Belarus and Western Ukraine. We know that for a fact. We know that the Russians are accelerating their nuclear weapons deployment systems. Okay, we know that these kinetic realities resist. So in spite of everything that is said, we know that that's a reality. We can presume then that this Russian supposed leak I think, I think that, that Macron, Macron knew that this, that this leak, leak was, was coming and they decided, they decided to front run it by talking, by talking about the deployment, deployment of troops on the ground, ground so, so to just, just confound, confound the situation even more, more to create, create confusion. confusion. Uh, uh, you, you remember, remember two, two months, months ago, ago, for example, when all of the NATO, NATO leaders, leaders, almost in unison, unison like one, one after, after another, another, they started, started coming out and saying, we need to prepare for World War III. Do you, Do you think, think that, that was, was uh, just, just a coincidence? coincidence? Do you think, think it was just incidental that defense, defense ministers, uh, prime ministers, presidents, uh, presidents, former retired generals, generals NATO, NATO chiefs of staff, staff do you, you think, think it was, it was a, coincidence a coincidence that they, that they all came out within the span of a few weeks and were advising their populations that you need to either prepare for World War III and we got to start, start talking about conscription? That was not a coincidence. Something happened under the surface in this spy game that precipitated that disclosure, that public disclosure. So I, I hope that's making sense. I just want people to understand that this, this is, is not a cut and dry, dry situation. situation. There, there is, is not going to be, uh, okay, okay, the war is going to start. You have 48, 48 hours. It's, it's, it's going to blindside us no matter what. what. Because, because there's, there's so many multi layers to this. It's like Inception, you know, only in the world of espionage. And we can only. Probably, Probably not, not even, even if, they if they ever make, make a, movie a movie of this someday, someday if we, we ever get the truth, truth of what is happening, happening it's probably going to be one of those movies you've got to watch 50 times to truly understand what's going, what's going on. on. Now, now here are some, some cold hard facts for you now, now that, that I've completely confused, confused everybody. everybody. Okay, okay, let's, let's get, get specific. specific. The Polish Prime Minister, Donald Tusk, has issued a decree issuing, raising the state of readiness to the second highest level, Bravo, in a scale of four. So, so that's, that's the penultimate, penultimate stage of readiness, readiness okay? That's, that's right before the highest state of readiness, of readiness like combat, combat war is imminent, and, and possibly nuclear war is imminent. Is imminent. This, of course, is going to coincide with Europe's overall DEFCON preparedness. preparedness. Among, Among its, its many, many elements, elements, and this, this is going to be in place until the end of May, May which, of course, is going to coincide with the Steadfast Defender exercise, the largest NATO exercise when taken, in, in, when taken, uh, when paired with all the other exercises that are running concurrently throughout Europe and inside Poland, it is the biggest NATO exercise ever conducted. <coughs> and arguably one of the most sensitive, considering there's a big hot war happening right next to it. Those other NATO exercises that happened during the Cold War, there was never a big war like this being fought at the same time. Among its many elements, this state of readiness includes, among others, Policemen, policemen, border guards, guards and, and military, military policemen, policemen bearing, bearing bulletproof vests and assault, and assault rifles as opposed to normal handguns. handguns. Security, Security checks in public transport. transport. All letters, letters and parcels, parcels to authorities of any level to be checked for bombs. Schools, schools and universities to only be accessible for students and staff. And, and five, the inventory, inventory of warehouses which store strategic supplies of medicines and medical equipment to be double checked. Now, now, I've been, been breaking, breaking down, down all of the changes in the laws in Poland, Poland in the past, past couple of months. months. And they, they all... all the family, we're going to stop it there. That's right. So this is Canadian Prepper. All right. You can go and uh, check out the video. All right. Let's wrap this up. We are just excited, family. We are excited. Waiting for the second coming of our Lord, our Redeemer, our Savior. Let's finish off. <clears throat> with the book of second Ezra because we know that great things are coming you have what writers are you know this is not the end of the world this is just the end of a period the end of an age Esau's kingdom is coming to an end and Jacob is the beginning of it that followers family I love this precept here second Ezra chapter 6 verse 6 then did I consider these things he says and they were all made through me alone and through none other, by me also they shall be ended. That's right. And by none other. Esau's kingdom, self-proclaimed white man kingdom is coming to an end. 
Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau, self-proclaimed white man, self-proclaimed European, self-proclaimed British, self-proclaimed American, self-proclaimed, uh, what is it called, uh, Bre- uh, uh, German, that's right, that's right. Their name, they are their Bible, the biblical name is what? Edom. They are the Edomite. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, Native Americans, Native Indians. That's right. Your world is the beginning of it that followeth. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth under our king the Redeemer of Israel, the Prince of Peace, Shiloh. You see all this nonsense that you see on the screen here? Yahweh Shai's kingdom, there will be no protest. There will be no more war. It's going to be a righteous kingdom. And that's what we are looking forward to. The moment Esau goes down, all this nonsense goes down with him. That's right. It's going to be like a bad dream. Brakata Yahweh. Brakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahweh. Shalom, beloved.